that a big organization or guys within a big organization know that something big's going to go down. Now, he says that this lunar eclipse over North America bears a message for the U.S. and Jews. He says it's clearly telling the Jews that they need to come to Israel. This is what he's saying. He says, according to the prophets, the end of days will signal the end of the kingdom of Edom. This is the period that we are entering now. This is what he states. He goes on to say, there will be great tragedies that will bring down governments, great human suffering. Only by doing God's will can tragedies be avoided or lessened. Right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give our praises to Abba Shemi Al Shai, by Shemra Karkodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan since I let is Makaza from in Trinidad camp. And you know, I was watching this video last night, you know, I saw I'll do it when I get up this morning. But basically, this only guy Dabu 777, and when he was doing a video based on what a rabbi Jew said that you know the blood moon basically symbolizing the end of Esau's kingdom, which we are in now. All right, now we know the scriptures talk about signs in the heaven and the moon shall be turned to blood, but the point is where he said that. The end of days symbolizes the end of Esau's kingdom. That is the main punch which we are entering into now. Which shows, according to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The people that are ruling right now are the wicked, which are the Edomites. Because even a Jew, an Edomite Jew, the arm um, declared this that we enter into the, the, the end of Esau's kingdom. Alright? And it says what? That they're going to be accompanied with the fall of governments and great tribulation. As we can see what's happening right now with the government shut down. All these things happening because we are the end. The scriptures talk about Jacob's trouble. Alright? So I want to go into some scriptures here real quick. It says 2nd Ezra chapter 2 verse 6. Chapter, um, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. So like... It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So he says what? The end of um, the times is the end of Esau's kingdom. But according to the scriptures, is also the beginning of Jacob's kingdom. Are we going to rule? Right now, we're on the rise. Right now, the curse is beginning to come off us. Not fully off of us. It's going to be fully off of us when Shai comes back. But right now, we're lifting up. We're lifting up our heads above the clouds. Right now, the Lord, Yahabah Hashem Yahushai, beginning to, you know, to save us from this, this captivity that we're in right now. All right? That is with the Lord, the Lord delivering his, beginning mm -hmm. to deliver his people. All right? But as he said, it's going to be accompanied with great tribulation. All right? This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says what? It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is coming upon you having great wrath. Alright? When you shut down the government, people can't eat. Guess what? It's going to lead to great insurrection. Rioting. Alright? And then it's going to be evidently declared martial law. Alright? Because he knew it he had a short time. All right, so that is why you see all these things happening right now, and we rejoicing. And as the rabbi said, so the only way to escape that destruction is doing the will of the Lord, which Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the prophet of the Lord, which make up the house of Israel, Yasha, like the true people of the Mosai, which we hoping to be part of the elect to escape that judgment to come. All right. So these are the times that we're in. We're in the end times. We're in the times that the ancient prophets spoke about and from Apostle Ta all the way down been talking for years. We in that time. Right? This is the time of our salvation. Alright? I believe it's Ezekiel 39 and 6. It said, These are the days that the Lord have spoken of. These are the times. Alright? Alright? It says verse 13. It says, I when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth. He saw saw Luke 10, 18. All right, Satan falling like lightning. It says, when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted a woman which brought forth the man-child. 
the woman which brought for the man she is as well. So the guess what? They're gonna persecute us. As I said, I never said it on a video, but I was speaking to the Archeum back then. And I said, every time the Lord sent in a savior, it always have great debt in Israel. With Moses, it had great debt of the infants. When Yahweh Shea was born, it had great debt. Now Yahweh Shea on his way back, it's gonna have great debt again. Alright? It couldn't have great morning, but at the end of it, as the scripture said, joy coming in the morning. All right, Yahweh Shai coming to deliver his elect, but before it pursuing to Jeremiah thirty six to seven, it says what great evil is gonna come. The time of Jacob's trouble. But going on to verse eight, it says what? Let me read it. This is Jeremiah thirty. I said at verse six, it says, "I see now and see where a man doth travail with child." Wherefore doth I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for the day is great, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved from it. For in that for it shall come to pass in that day shall Yahabah Shimia share of hosts. Um, said Yahabah Shimia share of hosts, that I will break his yoke off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds. And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him, but they shall serve Yahweh Shimei Shai, their God, and David, their king, whom I will raise unto them. And these are the times that we in now. Great trouble coming. And the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, beginning to raise us up. All right? This is the fall of Esau. All right? Even Esau knew it. Esau said that the scripture said that the end of times is the end of Esau's kingdom, which we are entering into right now. Didn't the scripture say there is nothing here that shall be revealed? Alright? So he the so-called white man, he tried to hide that he they are the biblical Edomites, alright, which according to the Zondavan is the nation that's not gonna receive mercy from the Lord, which is gonna be totally destroyed. Alright, so as much as they try to hide that, they still know that they're gonna be destroyed. That is why they're coming down upon us so hard, they're trying to go with our last hurrah. But they're gonna be destroyed. And as the rabbi said, the so-called rabbi said. These are the times that we're in right now. The end of Esau's kingdom. Je Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. This is Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 7. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Shimei Ashai, that they shall no more say, Yahweh live it, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh live it, which brought up and led, which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. All right, of the North America, out of the Caribbean, out of everywhere that they've been scattered. And from all countries where I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So the Lord gonna deliver us back to the land. All right, the Lord gonna deliver us. We are now in the time of salvation. Salvation could come unto us in this year. This could be the year. We hope in that day's year that the Lord put his foot on Esau's back. All right. The scripture said, "The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance." We rejoice him because we see Esau's end coming, and they're gonna come with great slaughter. Thus said the Lord. So as I said, hey, you could you could tap our phones, you could you could mark our house with a red X to be put to death during the, the time of martial law. Guess you could slaughter us, Esau. But guess what? You can never escape the judgment that coming. You put us to death, the Lord gonna put us in that spiritual body ASAP. And we're gonna come and we're gonna torment you until that thousand years where we destroy you. You're not gonna escape the judgment that's coming. Alright? You're not gonna escape. Alright? And I speak in bold. You could you could come in my house and destroy me right now. But Yahba Hashem Shai willing, I gonna be your slave master. And I will torment you. I will be Vlad Dracul times a thousand. All right? They will call me the blood slave master because, believe me, Esau's blood will be running on a daily basis. All right? You could say that I speak in treason. You could say that I, uh, um promoting hate crime. Guess what? The scriptures is about hate. The Lord hates you, Edomites, and the other nations, and two-thirds of Israel. The Lord loves the elect. All right? 
And the most high Yahabah Shimeon Shah is going to destroy all you people that are not serving him. Talking to you two thirds of Israelite, you Muslims, you Christians, you 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 Baptists, all you all you people that don't want to worship the true and living God. Hey, you so-called Israelites that be saying that the Lord name Ahaya and Yesha and Mosai Christ, the Mosai, if you don't turn and worship his true name, he's gonna destroy you. Alright? And you're not gonna escape that punishment. This is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. It says, Thus saith Yahba Hashem Yahashai, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and kept his wrath forever. But I will set a fire on Timon, which shall devour the palaces of Bozrah. So guess what? The Lord Yahba Hashem Yahashai, not gonna turn away that punishment. All right, Esau gonna be destroyed, thus say the Lord, and two thirds of his people. This is Amos 9 and 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So, all you people who believe that you could trust in Esau's system, want you to go down to Egypt for help. All right, only the elect gonna be delivered. My servant shall eat, but you shall suffer. All right, you people, you're gonna suffer. Thus say the Lord. All right, these are not my words. These are the words of the Lord Yahabah Shem Yahu Shai. All right, you people are gonna suffer. Thus say the Lord. All right. This is the book of Micah chapter four verse ten. It says, "Be in pain and labor to bring forth." So we have to do this work, and that is why we're pressing in the mill. We're doing this work so that we could get deliverance. It says, "O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now thou shalt go forth out of the city." And thou shalt dwell in the field. And thou shalt go even to Babylon, which we are in right now. It says, There shall thou be delivered. There shall Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? Shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. So the Lord never said he's going to redeem us from the land of Israel. He said he's going to redeem us from the hands of our enemies. So you jakes that be talking about you fulfilling prophecies by going into Israel. You are not fulfilling prophecy. You just being jackasses. All right? All right? You're not, you're not fulfilling prophecy. All right? These are the days that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahashai is beginning to deliver his people. All right? Salvation is going to come on to us now. All right? Let's see if I could find this, this scripture that, that I spoke of. Um, No, is it? I believe it's in Ezekiel. Ah, Ezekiel 39 and 8. It says, Behold, it is come and it is done. Said Yahba Hashem Yahashai, This is the day whereof I have spoken. All right? So, this is the day. This is the time frame. All right? This could be the year. All right? This could be the year that the Lord is going to reign destruction and also salvation. All right? Zechariah 5, the curse that's going to go over the whole earth, it on its way. Yahweh Shai, the scripture said the lion has come out of its tickets. All right, Jeremiah 4 and 7. Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver his elect. The scripture talk about the vengeance of his temple. All right, so all these signs that you're seeing is the end of Esau's kingdom and the beginning of Jacob, which is to follow. All right, so you jakes, you need to gain that kingly mentality. You Israelite woman, you need to get your mind right. Stop being proud. All right, stop being proud. Stop worrying about how much wives a man going to have. You can't stop that. Just like Esau, you can't do nothing against the saints of the Mosai. So just get with the program. Or you're going to get trampled down like Maya in the fucking ground. Alright? Get your minds right. There's no need time to be fucking around. Alright? There's no need time. And you men, beginning with me, guess what? We have to get our mind in that right state. Alright? Passover just around the corner. All right, Israel left Egypt during the Passover. For all you know, guess what? Shit could pop off just after the Passover. Who knows? All right, next month is Passover. All right, so salvation near it. Near. All right. This is the final precept here. This is Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 18. It says, In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, which we're doing right now. We're becoming one again. And they shall come together out of the land of the north, 
to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. All right? So we, we, we are both ready to leave the land of the north. All right? America going to be destroyed. Thus say the Lord. All right? So as the scripture said, lift up your heads for your salvation during near. Hey, even near now when we believed. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rekakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy, not true well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, saying, say, like this is Makazah saying, Shalom.